Welcome once again, Spazites, to another Booster Box unboxing of Munchkin Collectible Card Game, Munchkin CCG. Uh, let's see, we've already done one box, and there is all of the cards from that box, as well as the starter decks for the Wizard Bard, a Cleric Thief, and a Ranger Warrior. We are going to crack open another box, so let's get down to it. Welcome back, Spazites to the Spaz Nation. This is Gizmo Spaz here, and I am extreme close up. Okay, that is enough out of me. Uh, unfortunately, this is my second take because my first take was cut abruptly after opening my 15th pack of 24. No, not 15th. It looks like 19th. Yeah, my 19th pack out of 24. So, uh, a lot of these are pre-opened, so we won't have any cuts until towards the end of the video. Let's just put this aside right now. As with the previous box, we got yet another uh, OA, there it is, OA1, Goldfish Wanderer, and that is an alternate hero card that does not have a faction, so he can be used in any deck, which is kind of cool. So let's get right down to it. We will go through. I've, uh, I hadn't sorted any of the cards, so I was able to put them all back in the original pack order that they were in. Let's get right down to it. We started off with Kaboom. This is pack one. We got Kaboom, Discount Cudgel, 3,872 Orcs. We got Franz. We got the Walking Dreads. We got Glass Jaw, which I'm pretty sure we've had before. We got Hydrax, I know we've had that before, and another Blandy McBlanderson. Then we get into the Uncommon Hip, saw, hip Star. Uh, we got the Spiky Bit, Uncommon. Then we got an Alternate Art Nope, which is the uh, X, uh, number 180, and that is the full art card. And then we got Explodia's Thumb. I hope to get two full Explodia sets so me and Randy can both utilize Explodia. And then uh, pack two, we've got Curse of Quack. Now I believe that was a brand new card. We got Heart of the Cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reference. We got Vampire Cat, cute. We got Biodegradable Armor. We got the Wombo Bat. We got RN Jesus again, one of my favorites. We got Glass, another Glass Jaw. We got Squidzilla, which I believe is a new card. Tax Heaven, which I also think is a new card, but I'm not sure. We got Alta Blades, which uh, I'm pretty sure that's a new card as well. I really like that one. I'm not sure what that little symbol is. I didn't notice that the first time. I'm going to have to check these out. Are these focused? There we go. Uh, and then we have the Alt card for Squirrel. That's the X297. So that's pretty cool. I love these Alt cards, these uh, full art cards. Uh, then we got the Catapult, which is a rare, and I believe that was a new one, but I'm not absolutely sure. Okay, now on to pack three. We got a Vampire Cat, another one of those. We got Belt Buckler. We got Flaming Arrow. We got the Holy Roller, which I think is new, but I'm not sure. Leg Breaker Joe, that's a duplicate. Another Curse of Quack. Shrieking Fans. Uh, this is V. The V is considered very rare, and that's the Staff of Magic. I believe that's new. Uh, we also have Uncommon I Want It All. We have an Uncommon Land War Elf, which I think is a new one. I've never seen that before. And then we got also Nun Slap. So this is a really good pack, because I don't think I've had that one either. <clears throat> I have figured out... Oh, wait! There was one more card in this pack. The Rare Yoink, which I don't think we had either. I accidentally didn't pick that up. Okay, I gotta make sure I pick up the whole pack. Okay, I believe this is pack um, four or five now. We got Hack in the Box. We got Dogpile, which I think was a new card. We got Chopsticks. We got Trollo Lol. We got Punch McFacey. I think that's a new one, but I don't recall. We got Backup Dancers. I'm going to try and get rid of that glare. Uh, I'll just have to do it in an angle area. Backup Dancers. Uh, we got Blood Geyser, which is graphic and unnecessary. We got the Elf Thief. Now, this is really cool. This is a rare card. It is an alternate art card, an alternate art hero to the uh, Elf Thief that came with the Thief Cleric 
starter uh, booster booster pack or starter deck. Yeah, that's it. So that's cool. Uh, we got red tunic, which is an uncommon. We got the one percent, which I believe is a new card. We got nun slap again, and then we got reanimator, which I think is a new rare card. So that's cool. Okay, next up, we've got another Zorch. Uh, we got Honest Al's Casino. We got the Pygmy Sucklefant again. Automatic Machine Bow. Bullwhip, which I think is a new card. Uh, the Stick of Suffering, which uh, I think we have, but uh, it's not that common as far as I'm concerned. We got Flaming Armor, which I think was a new one. We got an alternate X card of Nope, which is really cool. That is card number 180. <clears throat> Pardon if I'm a little hoarse. This is my second time doing this. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Then we got the Bowl, Bow of Called Shots, which I think is also a new one. That's an uncommon. And then we got Chunky Flunky. I don't know why the common. I hope I didn't mix these up. There shouldn't be a common there towards the back. And we got Uncommon Tax Haven again. And then a rare White Brothers Dungeon location, which I think is another new one, and that's that's really cool as well. Okay, our next pack is Card Shark Monster, which I know we have that one already. We got um, Face Elemental, new. Uh, that's not a new one. We got Belt Buckler, which I think was in our very first pack that we opened. We got another Budget Sasquatch. We got the Inhumane Society location. We got Plutonium Dragon, which I just think is awesome. I know I already have that. We got Magic Missile again. We ignore that one. We got a, uh, a Field Armorer uh, full art card, which is numbered 120X down here, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got Loot Trinket Hot Potato Uncommon. I think that's new, but I'm not sure. We got the Bank Demon, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, we got Tragedy of the Commons, and uh, I am feeling that after uh, being almost halfway through my second booster box. And then we have Recycle Ben, which is a rare. Let's see what's our next pack. We start with card number one, Barbarian the Librarian. Then we got another 3,872 orcs. That is a lot of orcs. Um, even though that is a common card, it looks pretty strong. It's got a seven attack and only three hearts, but it's got seven attack. So if you can protect them, that should be a good card. We got Dagger of Treachery, which I think is a new card, but I don't, I, I don't think so. I know I'm crazy. We got Executioner, another one of those. We got Harry Tick again, another Dagger of Treachery in the same pack, which was a little disappointing. Chainsaw of Bloody Dismemberment. That one's pretty cool. And then we got the alternate card of Dogue, which I believe we already have. So that means we've got a duplicate of 287X, which is pretty cool. We got Timber, which I think is new. It's got our little, uh, where is he? He's our ranger. He's our humanoid ranger, and he's cutting down a tree. We got Weenie Buffet, which I thought was really funny. If uh, if it focuses on the little hot dogs, come on, focus on them. They've all got little stick figure arms drawn on them, and that's just adorable to me. I don't know why. We got the Book of Axe, which is our uncommon. Uh, let me see. The Weenie is also uncommon. Uh, Book of Axe, which just looks awesome. And then we got Loot Trinket Rare. We got the Platinum Lockpicks, which is pretty cool. Uh, I just realized that those were unfocused again, so... <clears throat> Okay, next, we started, we opened the pack and started with an Uncommon Toll Dragon. Then we got 99 Bottles, which uh, I can't remember if that, that was a new one or not. Uh, let's see, we got Bull Whip, which I think we saw a few packs ago. If not, I'm remembering the first time I opened it, which is a few hours ago now. I had to uh, restart. Me and Randy had to go do something, so I had to restart here. But Bull Whip... We got the Danger Zone, that's definitely a duplicate. We got Whacked, which is a duplicate. The regular edition of Dogue. We got Holy Roller again. We got the uh, Monochrome Gazebo, which is 76X. That's a super rare card. Then we got Explodia's Middle Finger. Now, uh, I mentioned that uh, this seemed like uh, Exodia uh, from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, which is another Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. All we need is Exodia's Pinky to... Uh, to complete our five Exodia sets, but there is one more Exodia card called, and if I can find it really quick, 
uh, I'm looking at the wrong sheet from the checklist. So it's Explodia, the, the trademarked one, I think. And we got Cowardly Canyon, which I think we got in our three booster packs that came in the starter decks. And then we got Staff of SRS BSNS, Serious Business. That is an uncommon. And then we have Rare, the Pain Train, which I just like the way that one looks. That was great. Okay, next pack is... Another Hydrax, we got Automatic Machine Bow again, another Wombo Bat, another Magic Missile, Ding, which I think is new, we got Flaming Armor, which I believe was new, we got the Purple Loot Us, that's Randy's favorite, I'm just saying, we have the uh, full art card of the Beazle Bob, which is 225X, it's got that full art with the black down there. And that's a cool card. Tragedy of the Commons again. It looks like this is going to be a common card, even though it's uncommon. We have Reign of Death, which is a brand new card for us. That's uncommon. Then we got Goldman Stacks, which uh, I think we have, but I don't remember. And then we got Rare Spellception. You got the Magician pulling the rabbit out of the hat, the rabbit pulling the Magician out of the hat, the Magician. I can't tell what's over there. <laughs> okay, next pack is... Starts off with a, with an old favorite. We got Bod E Guard. And as you know, Bod E Guard comes in every single one of the starter decks for both of the starter decks. And we got a few of them in our first booster box. We got Sword Caddy, which I believe is a new card. And that's the number four, card number four. So that's pretty cool. We got Irresistible Disco again, which is pretty cool. Dino Mites, I believe, is new. That's pretty cool. Executioner again, Ferros Oxide Monster again, Budget Sasquatch 77 again, Orc Bard. Oh, this is another alternate hero card. Here is the regular Orc Bard that came in the Bard and Wizard pack next to the alternate hero card that's rare. So that's really neat. So that's our second alternate hero card. We got Bow of Called Shots again. We got Repeat Offender, which I believe is new. That's an ally card with four hearts. We got another Tragedy of the Commons, uncommon card. And then we got good old Mr. Suitcase here. I believe that's a brand new card. Uh, good old Mr. Suitcase. He's a rare. Okay, and what's our next? Our next pack is, starts with Kaboom. Another Kaboom, another Automatic Machine Bow, another Flaming Armor, another Curse of Quack, another Hydrax. And then uh, there's a dog pile. That one's it's listed as common, but I've seen this one. I think this is only our second dog pile. Uh, we got another Blandy McBlanderson. We got a Centaur Warrior. So we got yet another alternate art guard. Here's our Centaur Warrior that came in the Warrior Ranger pack next to the alternate art card Hero. Now, the Centaur Warrior is 89, but the alternate art card is 90. So, these, some of these are set right next to each other. It's weird, though, because some of the X's are quite a ways away from their regular counterpart. I'm not sure exactly why they did that, or how, or if there's something special about that. We got another Land War Elf, which is pretty cool. We got another Hot Potato. Then we got Smug the Dragon... And a rare Explodia's Pinky. That's the last Explodia piece we need, which is really cool. I don't know why Smug a Common was right. I think I may have mixed some of these up, but I'm almost absolutely sure that these packs are in their regular original order. <clears throat> okay, next we have the Ferros Oxide Monster. And this is the last pack of the first half of all the packs. So Ferrous Oxide Monster, 3,872 3, orcs, Spin Kick, uh, rare but new, I mean it's common. Uh, another Mugsy, we got Whack-A-Mall, we got a Suction Cup, which I think is new. Uh, if not, I think we've only got one other one. Uh, Tavern Brawl, which I think is new, but again I'm not sure, there's so many of them. Then we got the Uncommon Toll Dragon, we got Shiny Manipulator, which is really cool, it comes with the Hydrax. Or it's got a picture of the Hydrax. <clears throat> That's our uncommon. Then we got Hipstar again, another uncommon. And then we have W, School of Badassery. And W stands for, I actually printed this out from the official Munchkin CCG website. W stands for, we destroyed most of these. I'm not sure why that is, but that that I just dropped my list on the floor. 
So we've got School of Badassery, another W, which is awesome. And then we got a Rare Dungeon of Dragons. That's another cool pack. Okay. Whoops. I don't know if I just uh, did that wrong or not. Okay, we got Harry Tick. Now we're on to the second half. I think that first pack was the second half. We got Crushing 8, which I, I think we have that. Chopsticks we have, Hydrax, uh, Stuff Shaming, Free Bird, uh, Biodegradable Armor again. We got Crash and Burn, which isn't that common. Uh, we got another Red Tunic, Uncommon. Uh, tracking, which I think is new. That's an uncommon card. We got another Explodia's Ring Finger and another Last Ditch rare card. <clears throat> then we have Holy Ghost, uh, Grody Roadies. Uh, I don't think I have many of those. We got Belt Buckler. We got another Blood Geyser. We got a Lame Goblin. I think we've had those before. Another Leg Breaker Joe. We got Offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and How. That's an uncommon. Uh, we have a very uncommon, I think, or is it very rare, Mnemonic Tudor, and I don't think we've had that before. We also have Aura of the Wilderness, an uncommon. I think that's a brand new one. Then we got Hans. Two Hans in a row. That was unfortunate. And then we have another rare last-ditch effort. Let's see. Next we have Ring Wraith. It's going to ring our necks. We got Healing Salvo. We got Office of Dewey Cheatham and How. We got Ferrous Oxide Monster, a Squirrel. We got Ooh Shiny. I think that's new. We got Beagle Scout again. Uh, we have a an X Ally, a full art card ally. That's a 127X Doctor Meow Practice. Explodia's Index Finger. We got Nun Slap, the uncommon. We got Big Baby Bandage. Uh, that might be new. That's an uncommon. And then we got the Rare Elf Commune, which is pretty cool. And next pack is Cattle Prod. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Interesting. Uh, we got Tavern Brawl. We got 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We got Pied Piper. I think that one's new. Jazz Hands. That one's new, I believe. We got a regular art of Dog. Uh, we got another used card dealer. We got another Toll Dragon. That's like our third or fourth one. Another Shiny Manipulator Uncommon. And we got the Hillbilly Ogre. There he is. Look at that. And last but not least, there's Groupies. And then we have the Holiest Symbol. That's a rare. I think that one might be new as well. Okay. We only have, let's see, we have five. Let's see, five, six, seven. This is eight packs left to go through. We got Flaming Armor. We got Ohms for the Poor. I think that one might be new. We've got the regular version of Squirrel. We got another discount cudgel. We got the reseeding rifle. Uh, Amscray. I think that one might be new, but now I'm not sure. We got another Curse of Quack. We got another Legbreaker Joe. We've got quite a few there. We have the Avenging Apostle. And then we have Bubble Bumbles. Bumbles, not Bubbles. Bumbles. The poor panda who's sitting on a stack of dynamite. That's an uncommon. And then we have the full art card of Holy Ghost. That is a 155X. And then last but not least for this pack, we have Eric the Jerk, which is a rare card. It's number seven, and I believe that is a brand new card as well. For some reason, Eric the Jerk is our ally, and I don't like to be allied with jerks. Uh, here we go. We've got Field Armorer. I think we got the, uh, the full art card of him earlier. We got another Reseeding Rifle. We got Spin Kick. We got Elven Foot Pole. We got another Offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. We've got the Unfair Grounds, which uh, I know we got a few of those in our original booster box. We got Stabity Stab, which isn't that common. I think, I, I don't think we... I can't remember if we have that or not. We got another Wombo Bat here. We got another Explodia's Ring Finger. And uh, Cutlass of Cloning, I believe, is a brand new one. That one's an uncommon. And then we have a very rare Charm of Cheating, which is a Zap Your Hero card, take one, whatever that symbol means. Uh, that's a very rare. And then we have another Elf Commune rare card. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I picked up my uh, checklist off the street. And I found out that the V does mean very rare. So this is our last pack of opened cards. And once I get halfway through this pack, I'll be 
where I left off with my original take of the video before uh, it was cut off because I received a Facebook call and that just shut everything else down. I couldn't just ignore it and my video recording didn't preempt it. So we got Kettle Prod, Biodegradable Armor, Moose, which I think is new. Uh, we got Dog Pile, which I think we might have got one of those earlier. Uh, another Salvage Salamander, I really like that card. Another Squirrel, another Dynamites. We got the Banhammer, that's a very rare, and I don't think we have that, so that's awesome. We got Liar's Dice, our uncommon card. Then we got Silver Bullet with Bumbles. There's a, uh, somebody wants to kill Bumbles. I think Bumbles was the, uh, the Panda Bear from the uh, earlier card. And, uh, yeah, somebody wants to kill him now. That's sad. So that's an uncommon silver silver bullet. And then Relentless Slobber Beast. That is a uncommon monster demon. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. That one's brand new. And then another Mr. Suitcase. So now I'm going to start pausing so that I can cut packs open. Okay. We are getting into the last five packs now. This one starts with the uncommon offices of Dewey Cheatham and Howe. And then we got Goblin Kaboomer, I think. I don't think we have that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and then we got Skewer. I know we have that one. That one's cool, though. The, another Danger Zone. Another Executioner. Another Inflatable Dragon. Uh, a Vuvuzela. I could do without those. And then we have the full art card of Healing Salvo, which is 150X. Cool. I think we did pretty awesome with this booster box. Then we got Agrobat. Uh, another Bank Demon, uh, another DJ Tim. I think we've had one DJ Tim in the past, and uh, that is an uncommon. Then we got X. We have the Final Countdown. That is a super rare uh, number 252X, Mischief Curse. I like that. Okay, I did pre-cut all five of the remaining packs, so we'll just move on. We got another RNGesus. Uh, we got another seeding, reseeding rifle. We got the regular edition of Gazebo. We have another Offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. We got the Krusty Disgusty again. Uh, we got another Pied Piper. We got a Disappearing Act. I think that one's new. That's cool. That's a common. Uh, ooh, we have the Monochrome Squidzilla. That's 50, number 50, and that is an X card. Awesome. Uh, another Explodius Ring Finger. Another The 1%. Uh, uncommon up my sleeve. I don't think we have that. I like that. And then a rare mosh pit. I know we have that, but that's cool. And next, we've got the Dagger of Treachery. And Lame Goblin. Another Lame Goblin. Uh, jam Session. I don't think we have that. That's cool. It's a Mischief Curse. Another Executioner. Another Jazz Hands. Another Glass Jaw. Another Field Armorer. We got a very rare... Oh! oh, that's awesome! Explodia the Trademarked one. That's a monster. And then it's got all of Explodia. So we have all of Explodia now. That is awesome. This ability triggers when this survivor survives the fight. If you have at least three finger monsters with different names in your stash, you win the game. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a very rare card. Uh, we got another blue suede shoes, uncommon. We have Bane of the Plains. I don't think we have that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got Chunky Flunky. And we got the Locket of Fleeting Fortune. I don't think we have that either. That's a rare. Nice. That was an awesome pack. I'm very excited about that. Next, we have the Walking Dreads. That is so common. We have the Ferris Oxide Monster, also so common. We have another Toll Dragon, which it's listed as uncommon, but it's pretty common. Another Blandy McBlanderson, another Heart of the Cards. We got another Tromboned. We got another Ding. We got a another full full art card of uh, Healing Salvo. That's cool. Uh, we got a Coin Elemental. Now that's cool. That's an uncommon. I don't think we have that. Two twenty nine. We got uh, Pay to Win. That's another. I know we have that one, but that's that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we got Spiked Blade. That's a brand new one. I haven't seen that one before. And last but not least, another Last Ditch rare card. And then the last pack. Let's see what we got. We got Vampire Cat again. We got another Dogue. We got Sword Caddy again. We got, oh, another Body Guard. Another Chainsaw Bloody Dismemberment. 
Uh, we got Smite Unseen. Yes, we do have that one, but it's not that common, although it's listed as common. Another Vuvuzela. Forget Vuvuzela. We got the Beagle Scout Full Art Card X271. Then we got the Good Samaritan. I'm not sure if we have that one. Uh, and then we have another Avenging Apostle. And then in the back we have Smug and a rare card, Epic Loot Inc. That's pretty cool. Okay, I will be right back. I have a special bonus to show everybody. And uh, yeah, just give me one second. Have I got a special surprise for all of you. Me and Randy went up to a comic book place called Infinity Flux near us. And they were doing a special... Uh, a special, uh, well, they were supposed to be doing a special demonstration of the Munchkin CGG. They had ordered the, the whole store, uh, the, oh, what's it called? It's called, it's called the Retailers, this thing that comes with the bonus cards. So they ordered that, and they didn't have enough people sign up, but they did have the bonus cards. They do have another retailer set. So they're hoping that uh, give give the game another week or two to uh, popularize. He gave us a couple more goldfish wanderers, which is pretty cool. I'm excited about that. He gave us uh, a couple of alternate. Uh, these are all promos. They are the AO. I already showed you the goldfish wanderer is AO one. The alternate art Pharos oxide monster is AO2 and then we also got a couple of AO3 Blandy McBlandersons and a one because this was the rare one out of the uh the set AO AO OA4 Agrobat alternate alternate art card which is cool so me and Randy each got one of those and then two of all the others. Uh, we only asked for two of the Goldfish Wanderer uh, because we also we already got one of each. We, also, we already got, I cannot talk right now, two Goldfish Wanderers in the uh, starter, the booster boxes. So that's really cool of them to do. And uh, I really hope this game picks up because I cannot wait. Um, this is probably the only one we'll be doing two booster boxes for because they are not cheap. I think one booster box retails for $109.99. And we got a discount on the first one, a pretty good discount, but I don't think it was that good. I mean, obviously they need to make some money. The second one I don't think we got a discount on, though. So, anyway, till next time, thanks for watching, especially if you sat through this whole thing. I really appreciate it. Uh... Yeah, thanks for watching. Let's see, I was going to say some other stuff. Uh, be kind. Happy hunting. Goodbye. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Uh, especially if you sat through this whole thing. You must like hearing me talk. So, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Till next time. See you later. Bye-bye. Happy munchkins. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to end it. Goodbye.